What's up guys? Happy Tuesday. It's our first Blu-ray hunt of the new year. How exciting, yet I know there are not a lot of new releases. I think the only one today is Love and Monsters. I'm not really familiar with what that is, but I'm going to head on into FYE today. It's been a while since I've been there. Best Buy, Target, we're going to hit them all up, see what we can find. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. All right, at location number one, we are going into Best Buy. Alrighty, so in the new releases at Best Buy, <laughs> We are striking out, man. Tenet is still at the top. Mulan is still here. Lots of empty spaces. Still have a few copies of Honest Thief, New Mutants, Westworld, and a lot of Christmas movies at the bottom. So we're gonna go in the back to see if anything's back there. Okay, so nothing really new again back here. Tenant, Mulan. I pretty much looked everything over and it's all the same stuff that we've been seeing. Echo Boomers, I showed you that at Target a couple weeks ago. Battle of the Bulge. They still have the Craft Legacy, that one Blu-ray that nobody wants to admit that they want. We do still have the Ip Man collection. All of the Game of Thrones are still here. This is new though, just the complete eighth season on Blu-ray. This wasn't here last week, so they do have that as an option. But yeah, everything is looking pretty much status quo like it was last week. This is why I'm gonna be going to FYE today. Maybe I can find some hidden treasure steel books over there. Going into FYE. All right, so two seconds into FYE and I'm already finding some pretty cool stuff. Now, I already do have The Departed and Goodfellas, but for you guys out there that may not have a triple feature, The Departed, Goodfellas, and The Aviator for $6.99. That's absolutely incredible for Blu-ray. Those are all quality movies. And another one, I'm actually interested, I might pick this up, Superman Triple Feature. I know Superman Returns wasn't the best, but they do have regular Superman and Superman 2, and I honestly don't even remember seeing these. I know I've seen them, but it's been a really, really long time. So I might get that today. That's a possibility for $6.99, absolutely. So I'm gonna cruise around and see what else I could find. See, two seconds into FYE and I'm already finding stuff. Over here on the other side, they do have a lot of steel books. So I'm gonna show these off to you. They do have uh, original Batman, Michael Keaton. Lots of news surrounding him the last couple days playing Batman, but they do have that steel book. I already have that one. They do have Goodfellas, Star Trek. They do have that, $6.99. Halloween, It, Howard the Duck, The Hills Have Eyes, eh, $24.99, a little bit too expensive, Wizard of Oz, Nightmare on Elm Street, I think that is the remake, so that's not worth it really, right? Nightmare on Elm Street, all these ones at the bottom, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I already have that one, they have the entire Saw collection, $29.99. Evil Dead, Corpse Bride, Breakfast Club. They do have Full Metal Jacket. They got Full Metal Jacket. It's not 4K, but sometimes you just want that steelbook. They do have the Pulp Fiction. It's already open though, but that's tempting. $14.99. Also, they have Jaws, Last House on the Left. They got a lot of steelbook options here. So here's what's cool about FYE and coming here is because you can really find that hard to find stuff that you don't normally find in regular stores. And they usually have them all clumped together. Like this is a bunch of horror movies all clumped together. So obviously here's Child's Play, but look at that cover. That's probably, I mean, it is a collector's edition, it says. That's pretty cool. And then you have Black Christmas. Is this the most recent one that came out? Or I don't even know which year that is. We have Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2, Candyman. Oh my God, Sleepwalkers. Remember Sleepwalkers? My Bloody Valentine Collector's Edition. So this is all really cool stuff. Horror Frankenstein. You have the steel book of Piranha. That's pretty cool, that looks awesome. Yeah, so this is why I like coming in here because you can really dig and find that stuff that you don't normally see anywhere else. Gremlin Steelbook, Godzilla. Yeah, so I'm gonna poke around in the aisles and see what I could find. All right, so I was cruising around and flipping through and seeing what I could find, and this was at the very front. It is my girl, 
it is Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's on Blu-ray. I have never seen this out ever. You know I am picking this up today. Wow, I am just so impressed with FYE today. Ah, oh, maybe this is a sign it's gonna be a good day. Oh my God, totally in love. All right, I'm definitely taking that. I'm still perusing around and seeing what I can find, but definitely check out your FYEs if you have some in your hometown. I know they're very scarce to come by, but they really do have some good bargains. If you can hunt, you can find some really good stuff. All right, here we go. We're going into Target. We're going into Target. All right, here at New TV and Movies, it's back to regular normal in the front, and there is Love and Monsters. I'm actually pretty surprised. Target has it this week, but there we go. I've heard great things about it, but I'm not really sure it's my thing. So I'm probably not gonna pick that up, but Blu-ray and DVD both have the same cover. They still got that Tenant. They do have the Godfather Coda back in stock. They didn't have it last week, but they do have it this week. Proxima still, if you guys are really jonesing for that Curious George, Go West, Go Wild, still here. We have Yellowstone, Season 3. Still got that Cobra Kai, who watched Season 3 on New Year's Day. I did. And we still got Mulan. Wow, look at all those copies of Mulan. So the only other new release that I could find is this Girls' Night Inn. Actually pretty good collection. Five movies, Bridesmaids Unrated, Girls Trip, Pitch Perfect, Sisters Unrated, and Trainwreck Unrated. So five movies, five Blu-rays for $24.99. That's, that's pretty decent. That's not bad. That's pretty decent. But yeah, other than that, I'm not seeing anything else. So let me go home so I can show you what I got. Today. Back at home, it's time for me to show you what I got when I went out today. But before I do, three things first. Shout out number one to the employee at FYE for turning down the music so I could actually film and not get a copyright. You're awesome. I will see you next Tuesday if you are working. Shout out number two, to Michael D. I got my Christmas card, my belated Christmas card. Thank you so much. I checked my PO box today and it was there. I thank you. And number three, disclaimer, if you see some movement or glowing eyes, don't be freaked out. My cats are on the bed with me. So if you see some movement, just disregard it. Okay, let's get into what I got today. Steelbooks are always first. Boom! Mary Poppins returns. Didn't absolutely love it and fall in love. Didn't hate it. There's worse movies than this. We all know that. Cats, Doolittle, the list goes on. However, I like the Steel Book. I really did. And if anyone is going to step into Julie Andrews' shoes as Mary Poppins, Emily Blunt was the absolute perfect choice. She was phenomenal. I thought she was not recognized enough for what she did with this because I thought she was amazing. She was the absolute best part of that entire movie. Batman Returns. Ooh, I just love this movie. It's so campy and it has my favorite Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer. Can we get her back in a DC film, please, as Catwoman? If Michael Keaton can do it as Batman, where is Michelle Pfeiffer? Can we start a movement, please? She was absolutely phenomenal. I'm saying it again, phenomenal. All right, but it has a lot of bonus features. That's why I wanted it. And I had to use up a gift card. So why not get it? I don't know. I just wanted to get it. Okay. Superman. The Superman trilogy. Well, Superman, you know, series. Superman 1 and 2. And then Superman Returns. I've never seen Superman Returns. I haven't heard great things about it. But I will be the judge of that for myself. I'll probably agree with everyone else. And then it's been forever and a day since I've seen Superman 1 and 2. For $6.99, you can bet your ass I was getting that. <sighs> Need I say more? Audrey, Breakfast at Tiffany's, probably my favorite role of hers on Blu-ray. I've never seen any of her movies available on Blu-ray. So when I saw this right in the front, that was a no-brainer for me. And then, of course, when you're at FYE, they have those bins in the front, three for 10, three for 15. So I went over there and got three. <laughs> so let's start. We've got Sisters. The wonderful comedic pairing, yet again, of Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. They are absolutely hilarious together. If you've never seen Sisters, what are you doing with your goddamn life? Put it in, watch it, laugh your ass off. You're going to feel 10 times better if you do. The King 
speech. I know it's so serious. Why so serious, Susan? Well, why not? And it's a Best Picture winner. I've never seen it. Colin Firth did win Best Actor for it. It might as well go into the collection. Last but not least, and I don't want any judgment from any one of you out there because I just needed a third movie, Ghostbusters Answer the Call. Listen, there's a lot more movies out there that are way worse than this, okay? I know it didn't live up to all expectations, but I give them kudos for trying, okay? I give them kudos for the effort that they put in. So there we go. That's everything that I got today. My first haul back of 2021. But the more important question is, what did you get when you went out today? Where did you go? FYE, Walmart, Best Buy, or Target? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.